Good morning. Today we're going to be converting units of weight. So we're going to use the measurement scales and the activity to help us solve the problem. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to pull up our measurement scales. Okay. And we're going to look at the second one, which is the tons and the pounds. We see that one ton equals 2,000 pounds. So if we want to know what two tons equals, we just look on over to number two and we see that it equals 4,000 pounds. Okay, remove that. Four thousand. Three. We go over to three and we look down at the pounds. We see that it equals. We see that it equals six thousand. Okay. We we want to see what this one is. We see that it's five. We see that five equals ten thousand. Okay. Let's try the next one. Let's pull up our activity. Okay. We see that. One pound equals sixteen ounces. Okay. So how many does three equal? Equals forty eight. Drag this over here. Okay. How many does four equal? So we go over to four and we see that it equals sixty four. Okay. Now we look at 7. We see that it equals 112. Okay. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to look at our chart. Look at my chart over here. And they want to know 9 tons. How many pounds is that? So if I look over here and I see, hmm, well, I don't have nine. It only goes up to five. Mm -hmm. But I do know that 2,000 pounds equals one ton. So what I could do is take nine times 2,000. Hmm. And that kind of seems like a difficult thing to do. So I'm sitting here thinking, well, I could take 9 times 2 and just add the zeros on the end because that's a fact that I do know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 9 times 2, which equals what? Yep, it equals, move this over, equals 18. And then I just have to add these three zeros on the end. So I get 18,000, okay? Next one. They want us to do the opposite of what we've been doing. So they give us the pounds and they want us to find out what the tons is. So I'm looking here 20,000. Okay, so what I could do is, is I'm going to work backwards. So I'm going to have to think how many times can 2,000 go into 20,000? So that's a lot of zeros. So let's think about it this way. How many times can 2 go into 20? And now it's a little bit easier of a problem because we can just get rid of those zeros and use a zero as our hero trick. So if I think how many times can 2 go into 20, it's a lot easier. And I decide that that equals 10 because 10 times 2,000 would equal 20,000, okay? All right, let's try the next one. They want to know what 14 tons is. Once again, my scale stops at five, so I can't, I can't go up that high, okay? But what I can do is I can take 14 times 2,000. Once again, that sounds like it's gonna be a really hard problem. So what I can do is, is I can just multiply 14 times two and then just add the three zeros on the end. So if I do that, I'm thinking in my head, what's 14 times two or what's 14 plus 14? thinking 
and I decide that 14 plus 14 equals 28. So then all I have to do again is put those three zeros on the end. So I get 28,000. Okay. Next one, I can do the exact same thing. It's 25. So what's 25 times 2,000? Okay. So once again, I can think about it without the zeros. And um, I can just do 25 times 2 or 25 plus 25. And I can think of that kind of like quarters. If I have add two quarters together, I get 50 cents. So I know that my answer is going 25 plus 25 is going to be 50. So then I just have to add those three zeros on the end. So I get 50 plus three zeros equals 50,000. Okay? Let's go to our last screen. All right. Let's pull up our activity resources again. So now we're going to be doing the same thing, but with ounces. But luckily, if I look over to here, 8 is still on my chart. So if I look over and I find 8, it equals 128. My next one, they, they gave me the ounces, but they want me to find out what the pounds are. So if I look, I'm looking for 144 at the bottom. Oh, and look, I find it in 144 ounces equals 9 pounds. All right, next one. Hmm, so I have 12, but my chart only goes up to 10. But there's a different way I can think about this. So it goes up to 10, and I know that 12 is 2 more than 10. So what I could do is, is I could add 10 ounces, I mean, what the 10 ounces is, which would be 160, you can add 160, plus 2 more ounces, which would be 32, and then when I add those together, I get 192, so I can put that on my chart. 192. Okay, my next one is 20. So I can think of this the same way. So I know that half of 20 would be 10. So what I could do is, is I could add 160 plus 160. Or I could add 16 plus 16 and just add a zero. So I do that, and I end up getting 320. All right.